Hi there, my name's Phil, and welcome to Thumbs Up Fan Page Tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fan page once again, um, but this time it's going to be using the um, static HTML iframe app. Now, once again, if you don't know where to find out on your Facebook page where to create a page from, scroll down right down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see um, the little small right in there. You'll see the words create a page. Click on that and you'll get something like this appear. Brilliant, okay. I'm going to use a usual example, so I'm going to just choose this one over here, brand or product. You can choose which one you want, and I'm going to select website. And, and for this, I'm going to call it, um, what should you call? My tutorial, so we know where we are. Okay, agree to the Facebook page pages terms and, and just click away. Incidentally, whatever you decide to call your page here, as in my tutorial, this is set in stone, so make sure you're quite decided on what your page is going to be called, because you won't be able to change that at a later date. Um, you can edit and change just about anything else, but you can't change the title. Just, uh, just worth remembering that. So, Okay, then once you've done that, click on Get Started, and wait for the page to load up. And away we go. And you start at the top here. Um, you can just upload the category if you wanted to quickly change it. You could here. The categories you chose at the beginning. If you're happy with what you've gone for, update the category, and that um, goes away. Brilliant. Now, if you don't know me, um, I've done a YouTube tutorial before, and that was for a different app. This one is, like I said, for the static HTML app, um, which is quite HTML coding based, but it's quite simple to follow along once you get the hang of it and if you use other things to help you out. Um, you need a theme, whatever you're going to do with. Uh, excuse me a second, that always comes up. Um, I generally follow the Apprentice theme. It's just got I've got a lot of things already preloaded and put on the PC. It makes it easy to follow along. Um, but you, obviously you can use your own theme, your own sports, hobbies, pastimes, businesses, whatever you're into. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get a page over here. You need to upload an image. That's just go to the computer in the normal way and find whatever picture you want to put on there. You can put put your own face, or you can create a one to go in there, which looks a bit better, a bit more striking, especially on the fan pages. Um, I'll show you what that means. I've already done some previously. Um, if anybody's seen my previous tutorial, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll just find the one I made for. Which I believe this one over here. That's the one. So it loads up okay. Here we go. Okay, and that's what you can do. Obviously this could be your own picture, this could be your business picture or hobby picture, whatever it is. And that fills it up over the side there. Um, to get it this sort of size, you need to create it in, and and build it. Basically, I've got a app that I use all the time. Um, bit of software. It's called Xheader. X H E A D E R. Xheader.com. Um, you need this size to be 180 by 500. Xheader is completely free. I will just show you the plate. This is what it starts off when you're into it. Um, I say it's completely free. There is a pro version they try and get you to buy, but you don't really need it. Um, Xheader, it's called Xheader.com. Um, if you were to create a new one from here, you had to know you could create a blank header. And then if you were doing one for the Facebook fan page, as I said, you need to get 180 by 500. Click on that, and that'll load up your blank template. Now it appears small as a square, but what you basically need to do is scroll down, up and down, and you can add the image, add any information that you want, colours, text, graphics, anything at all, and it will obviously be a long picture like so. Brilliant. Okay, so that's how you get the um, piece up there, and you load it up, and then we can get started. So let's edit the info over here. And this is where it all starts. Basically, you can change some information here. Like I said, whatever you've called your fan page, you can't change it. It's called my tutorial, and that is set in stone. 
you can put any other information that you need down here when you're happy with that information just click on save changes now the first thing you need to do is come over here and on the side here we've got apps and you click on the apps like I said, if you've seen a previous tutorial of mine it's quite similar uh, but we're going to be using a different app to create the page with let's try again what comes up first of all um, it comes up the preloaded apps um, but you need a different one so you just put in um, you can put in iframes or static HTML um, let's go back this is the one you're actually looking for quite easy to spot the big star I've done a tutorial on this one also if you want to look out for that uh, this one we're going to use this time it's called static HTML so you click on that because that Facebook used to be using called used to use something called static FBML um, but they changed it and have now uh, sort of dysfunctioned it, whatever you want to call it, decommissioned it. Um, and it's been taken over by this. This is easily the biggest and most popular one that's taken over from it. Um, you click on Go to App. Once the page comes up, and what it will do, it will ask you which page you want to put this on. If this is your first page, you'll only offer have one page to choose from. If you've got several pages, which I've done for demonstration that before, you're going to get the whole list. Um, but if you remember, we called this one My Tutorial. So you click on My Tutorial, you'll get the normal uh, Allow Facebook etc. tab. Click on that, and that takes you through to the page. And if you scroll down to underneath where you did the picture, you'll see the star, which was the app, if you remember, with the Welcome tab. So you can click on the Welcome tab. Let it load up once again. Just bear with me, things are running a little bit slow once again. Whenever I do a tutorial and record it seems to run slow. Now this is where you basically will do be developing your fan page. Okay, you need to be using HTML script. And you've got two boxes there. This is the content that you can that anybody can be seen basically you can hide the fans only content here so basically any content that you would put into here and load onto your fan page if they hadn't liked your page or you become a fan of your page they wouldn't be able to see it so it would not be visible from the fan to the average person just visiting your page so if you want to put stuff that's only visible to your fans it's pretty cool you can put it in there and um, otherwise you put it into here okay and so what you need to do is obviously start entering stuff that go in here and then load up on your page now one of the easiest ways to do this is using something called Composer which is K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R because it's all HTML ready so I'll just flick onto that page there for you this is Composer uh, so it's a K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R very easy to use, very user friendly and completely free to download as well now the first thing you must do when you're building your fan page on here is bring the size down because the size allowed in Facebook is only 520 pixels which is there anything over that, you left that over and put it over here you wouldn't be seeing, you'd have like half a page etc so anything you're building you must do it within the 520 I sometimes quite often just drop it down between 510 or 505 um, just to make sure it sits nice and comfortably inside the fan page with no tight edges or anything like that um, once you've got that, it's then pretty easy to do. You can start just typing out. You might say, oh, well, I'll just, just write out something, say, um, welcome to, we'll call it, my um, apprentice fan page, for example. Oops, what happened there? Let's get capitals fan page. <coughs> Um, thanks for visiting anything you like yeah not, not very good on the keyboard today thanks for visiting uh, please become a fan and like my page okay and then if you wanted to do anything with the text um, you just highlight it like you would normally. You can make it bigger. 
Um, put it up a bit, we can make it bold, whatever. Um, this, I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff, okay? Just uh, to give you an example, just play around with it, uh, make it red, okay, etc. Okay? Um, and when you're happy with that, I'll go a bit because it sounds a bit better, that's cool. Okay? Now, the next thing you need to be doing, um, what we're going to do is throw in a picture as well. Um, if you've listened to me before, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, just you need to bear with me here. Um, when you go to click an image, if you just click the image and upload it straight from your PC onto here, what would happen is um, when it gets read by the HTML coders, this is putting in really simple English, um, it wouldn't recognize it because it hasn't got a direct URL address for the image so you need an image hosting site for it to be read properly and for it to appear on your fan page otherwise it just would not show up um, it would just be a sort of blank square um, I thoroughly recommend photo bucket that's www.photobucket.com um, again it's completely free you just create an account and register and then you need to basically upload your pictures from your PC or your laptop or whatever onto the image hosting site and then that will give them a be able to get a um, direct URL for your image. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, if I go on to just get out of composer here a second and I've already got um photo bucket out, this is what it looks like. So what I'll do I'll just put a um I'll throw a picture out there. I've done a few apprentice pictures on there again, purely for example. Um, so if I just find one, I can get this to steady down a minute. I see me jumping around all over the shop. Okay, so you've got this one here. You should use this one. So if you just hover over, once they're like uploaded onto it, if you just hover over a picture, um, you'll see they come up. Okay? And then you want the direct link. Excuse me, it's dropped off. Go over the direct link, click on the direct link. And that is copied. Okay, so then when you go back into your composer, you can then come down. We now take this over here, and you can click on image, and you need to paste the URL that you just copied into there. You get an image preview pop up here when it loads. And you have to write an alternate text into here. This is just purely for in case there's an error. You need to write the alternate text in there, so we'll just put um, image. You can actually write what you want, but you just have to write something. Where it won't, let, won't let you do it. What? <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. Hang on a second. I'm sorry about that, that seems to have been, I've seemed to have clicked on the video at the same time there. Um, anyway, once that is done, all I'm going to do, I'm going to um, pause the video there, because I'm nearly out of time on this one, and what I will do is return and show you part two. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two.